Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're ready to turn those shoulders into boulders, then you're in the right place. Today, I'm going to guide you through the ultimate dumbbell only shoulder workout that you can do right at home or in the gym. We've got everything from Arnold presses to iron crosses, and I promise you it's going to be fun, a bit cheeky and super effective. Grab your dumbbells and maybe a towel because things are about to get sweaty and let's dive into these exercises. I'll explain each move in a way that's so simple you'll think, why didn't I start sooner? So let's get pumped, let's get excited, and let's transform those shoulders. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you never miss a workout with me. Ready? Let's lift and laugh a little along the way. Workout number one, dumbbell bench seated press. Grab a seat, but don't get too comfy. You're here to press some dumbbells, not potatoes. Uh, sit upright on a bench with a dumbbell in each hand at shoulder height, palms facing forward. Press them straight up above your head and then bring them back down slowly. It's like giving a very enthusiastic yet silent cheer. Aim for three sets of 10, 12 reps. It's enough to feel like a hero without actually wearing a cape. Workout number two, dumbbell front raise. Time to raise the stakes and your dumbbells. Stand up straight, weights at your sides, palms facing your thighs. Lift the dumbbells straight in front of you to shoulder height, then lower back down as if you're you know, gently putting down a pair of fragile legs. This isn't a speed competition, so let's go for three sets of 10 to 12 reps. Keep it smooth unless you want to accidentally take flight. Workout number three, dumbbell incline hammer press. Set your bench to a slight incline like you're aiming to slide, but remember you're pressing, not sliding. Hold two dumbbells with a hammer grip, palms facing each other. Press them up like you're hammering a cloud, then bring them down without smashing your enthusiasm. Uh, do this for three sets of eight, 10 reps each. It's like playing whack-a-mole, but with imaginary moles and real gains. Workout number four, dumbbell lateral raise. Stand tall, proud, and ready to look like a majestic bird. With dumbbells at your sides, raise your arms out to the side until they're, they're parallel with the floor, then slowly bring them back down. This is a great way to prepare for any upcoming arm flapping contests. Shoot for three sets of 10 to 12 reps. Flap those wings, but don't actually fly away. Workout number five, dumbbell one arm lateral raise. Just like the regular lateral raise, but let's go exclusive and focus on one arm at a time. It's like favoritism, but for muscles. Stand or sit, raise one dumbbell out to the side, keep your body steady and show that gravity who's boss. Alternate arms and do three sets of 10 reps on each side. It's a great way to balance out if you feel like you're leaning more to one side in life. Workout number six, dumbbell rear delt row. Bend over slightly like you're trying to hear a secret from your toes. Hold the dumbbells with palms facing each other. Row them towards your hips, elbows out. It's like you're trying to start a lawnmower in a fancy way. Perform three sets of eight, 12 reps each. Your shoulders will thank you, or they might just whisper another secret back. Workout number seven, dumbbell rear lateral raise. Bend over as if you're looking for that coin you dropped earlier, but you'll lift dumbbells out to the sides instead. Keep your back straight and think of it as trying to sprout wings from your shoulders. Aim for three sets of 10, 12 reps. It's a sneak attack on those rear delt muscles. Workout number eight, dumbbell seated front raise. Sitting down doesn't mean taking it easy here. With a dumbbell in each hand, raise them one at a time in front of you, like you're politely offering snacks across a table. Alternate hands are named for three sets of 10 reps each hand. It's polite, but powerful.
Workout number nine, dumbbell seated lateral raise. Sit down, relax, but not too much. Your shoulders have work to do. With a dumbbell in each hand, raise them to the sides and up to shoulder height, then gently lower them. Do this for three sets of 10, 12 reps while pretending you're a bird, but a very disciplined one. Workout number 10, dumbbell upright row. Stand up with your feet shoulder width apart. Lift those dumbbells straight up along your torso, elbows high like you're a puppet on a string. Pull up to chest level, then lower back down gently. Let's do three sets of eight, 10 reps. No strings attached after you're done. Workout number 11, dumbbell incline rear lateral raise. Set your bench to a slight incline face down like you're about to tell it your deepest secrets. With dumbbells in hand, lift them to the sides, aiming to keep your arms parallel to the floor. It's like trying to fly away without leaving your bench. Do three sets of 10-12 reps for those elusive rear delts. Workout number 12, dumbbell iron cross, stand up, weights at your sides, lift the dumbbells laterally to shoulder height, then while keeping your arms extended, bring by them in front of you and back out, making a big iron cross. Keep your moves smooth and controlled like a slow motion ninja. Try three sets of eight, 10 reps and feel free to hum your own action movie soundtrack. Workout number 13, Dumbbell Arnold Press. Start with dumbbells in front of you, palms facing you, like Arnold ready to deliver a punchline. As you press up, rotate your hands, so palms face forward at the top. Lower them back with a twist, and that's one rep. Perform this orchestral movement of the muscles for three, four sets of eight to 12 reps. It's like conducting a symphony, but the music is your muscles groaning. Workout number 14, dumbbell alternate shoulder press. It's like the bench press, but with a twist, literally. Press one dumbbell up while the other stays at the starting position, then switch. This keeps things interesting for you and your muscles. Do three, four sets of eight to 12 reps per arm, because why let one arm have all the fun? And that's a wrap on today's shoulder sculpting session. I hope you enjoyed lifting those dumbbells as much as I enjoyed guiding you through each exercise. If you felt those muscles working, then we did something right today. Don't forget to drop a like if you had fun and found the workout helpful and leave a comment to let me know which exercise was your favorite or if there's any other workout you'd like to tackle together. Also check the description for free goodies. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more fitness fun and share this video with a friend who might be looking to spice up their shoulder routine. Remember, consistency is key, so keep showing up, keep pressing play, and I'll see you in the next video. Keep those spirits high and those dumbbells flying. Until next time, stay strong and stay smiling.